The virus is having a profound impact on the church. Public masses are being suspended and Holy Week is going to be different this year. Joining us now from Rome is John Allen, the editor in chief of Crux. John, thanks for joining us. Um, first, tell us how the pandemic is impacting Rome and the Vatican. The Pope was out and about in the city yesterday and while Holy Week is likely to undergo big changes these, this year. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Rome, essentially, uh, like every other major metropolitan area in Italy, has come to a standstill. Uh, virtually everything is closed. Uh, the only things that are allowed by government to create or remain open would be what are defined as essential services, mostly grocery stores and pharmacies. Public transportation is essentially ground to a halt. People are not supposed to be out. You're only supposed to be out if you have a, a reason of work or, or a grave reason of health or necessity, such as going to one of those grocery stores to do your shopping. Uh, other than that, you're not supposed to be outside. You are supposed to maintain an appropriate distance. The one source of relief Romans have found is their balconies. Uh, every day here at 6 o'clock, we have a kind of flash mob where everybody goes out onto the balcony or the terrace. Music is played. People are applauding. They chat at a distance. Italians are, of course, an extraordinarily social people. And that's about the only way we have found to date uh, to cope with the creeping claustrophobia of this unprecedented nationwide lockdown. I was going to ask you about that, about that sense of community. We all saw that video of everybody coming on their balconies and singing. That's just wonderful to see. Uh, what about the churches, though? Because when the diocese decided to close the churches, uh, the Pope pushed back, saying not all drastic measures are good. Then came where the churches would stay open. So what's happening with that confusion? Well, I mean, I think the short answer is it hasn't yet quite been resolved. I mean, basically, the Diocese of Rome announced uh, one day, it was last Friday, that the churches were going to close because that was the day the government decided everything else was going to close. Uh, and then the, the next morning, as you noted, Pope Francis celebrated his daily mass, obviously raising questions about that. Uh, later that morning, there was a conversation between the Pope uh, and the Cardinal Vicar of Rome, Cardinal Angelo de Donatis, out of which came this new decree that said, all right, parish churches can remain open. All other churches and places of worship need to remain closed. Uh, and those parish churches are not supposed to be having public liturgies, uh, that is, the regular Sunday Mass and so on. Uh, but people can go to those churches to pray. I can tell you from personal experience that there are some parishes here in Rome uh, where pastors, inspired a bit by some of the Pope's language about the importance of priests getting out and being with people during this time of crisis, some of these pastors are quietly still having masses. They are not advertising them, but word kind of gets around, uh, and people who want to brave the pandemic uh, can do so. Uh, they obviously don't want to call attention to that because it's a controversial practice. Some people think it's irresponsible, uh, that it risks transmitting the disease. Other people think uh, that it's kind of pastoral courage uh, in a time of great need. Uh, and at least so far, that argument has not been resolved from on high. Wow. Well, Holy Week's going to look a lot different. Can you talk about that, uh, the feeling there in Rome? Well, we know that this is not going to be an ordinary Holy Week. Let us note that the restrictions imposed by the Italian government theoretically were set to expire on April 3rd, which is the Friday before Palm Sunday. Um, however, I think everyone takes for granted, given that the Prime Minister, Giuseppe Conte, just yesterday said we have not yet reached the peak of this disease um, and that we're going to have to accept these restrictions longer. I think everyone believes that they will extend through Holy Week which likely means that the Vatican is not going to be able to hold the big public Holy Week events. Uh, the, the prefecture of the papal household actually a couple of days ago announced that these liturgies would be held without people, without the presence of the faithful. Then that was sort of taken back a little bit by the Vatican spokesman who said, well, we're studying what to do. I think they're trying to give themselves the option of a last minute out if it turns out that by Easter Sunday, for instance, the Italian authorities have decided that we can ease up a little bit. I think they want to have that option. It's important to emphasize the Vatican has said that Pope Francis will indeed celebrate all the Holy Week liturgies. They will all be live streamed and broadcast around the world. So even if you are still under a quarantine or a lockdown, you will at least be able to see the Pope lead the church through Holy Week. 
All right, sounds good. John Allen, the editor in chief of Crux, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.